Today, we will show you a simple trading strategy that is based on Kalman filter. It performed better than buy and hold on backtesting. Impressive. Significantly more profitable than buy and hold, yet about the same drawdown. Please pay attention, we'll show you the strategy in a moment. But before we get to the strategy proper, let's introduce you to the Kalman filter. What is the Kalman filter and how does it work? The Kalman filter is a mathematical algorithm for estimating the state of a system. In the trading world, it can be used to estimate and forecast the underlying trend in a financial instrument using the observed market data. It helps filter out noise to provide more accurate estimates of an instrument's price, returns, volatility, and other financial metrics. It is like a smart tool that helps you combine both the observed market data and your predictions to give you a more accurate and smooth estimate of how the market is going to move in the near future. How is the Kalman filter calculated? Calculating the Kalman filter is a long process that involves many formulas, but we'll illustrate what it looks like using the analogy of a moving car's location. To calculate the car's location with this system, you will go through these four steps. First, you use the previous estimate of the car's position and the current speed and direction to predict where you think the car will be next. Second, you use the measurements from the car's sensors, such as the GPS and speedometer, to get real-time information, even though they may not be accurate. Third, you correct your estimate by calculating a weighted average between the prediction and the measurement, giving more weight to the one that is more reliable. Lastly, you update your estimate based on the weighted average you calculated, and this updated estimate becomes the basis for the next round of prediction and correction. Now let's show you the Kalman filter strategy. It is a mean reversion strategy that combines the five-day simple moving average and Kalman filter. The trading strategy is relatively simple yet effective. We buy when the five-day simple moving average of the asset crosses under the Kalman filter. We sell when the five-day simple moving average of the asset crosses above the Kalman filter. Here's the equity curve when compared with the buy and hold strategy. It does not beat buy and hold, but it has smaller drawdowns and spends less time invested in the market. The compound annual growth rate, CAGR, is 6.33% compared to 9.76% for buy and hold. But the time spent in the market is only 35.38%. Its risk-adjusted return is 17.80%, which is measured as CAGR divided by time spent in the market. The maximum drawdown is negative 41.35% compared to negative 55.19% for buy and hold. By and large, the strategy performed really well compared to buy and hold. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.